I'm out here today shooting one of our popular tools of the trade videos. Uh, we've had close to 50 tools of the trade videos to this point, and uh, they've proven to be quite popular amongst our viewers. They're where we uh, review products that are not guns, but are accessories and you know, lower cost items the, that would be of interest to the firearms and outdoor enthusiasts. And uh, we've looked at a lot of different stuff, and we've had a lot of good reaction to it. First thing I'm out here looking at today is this belt. This is made by Core Essentials, K-O-R-E Essentials, at coreessentials.com. It's a gun belt, it's, but it's the, the unique thing about this belt is the way it adjusts. Whereas most, most belts, you know, you get like an inch or so in between holes, and I don't know about y'all, but there's a lot of times I'm in between inches, and sometimes I fluctuate back and forth some. These have a little ratchet arrangement on the back of them that uh, allow you to adjust incrementally the length of the belt around your waist in quarter inch increments. And it really makes a great difference. So uh, you can get just the right amount of snugness onto you, just the right amount of tightness on your body to hold your, hold your britches up and everything like you want to. As a matter of fact, normally when I wear a belt, I'm wearing suspenders because you know, everything doesn't fit perfectly and it's either so tight that it's not comfortable to me or it's loose enough where I have trouble keeping my britches up if i got a, a gun on. This belt is different. I can get just the right amount of snugness to keep everything up, up where it needs to be, thank the Lord, and uh, I'd still uh, support the weight of the gun and everything just fine. It's a very stiff belt, which is a good thing on a gun belt. Uh, there's no sag to it. That, uh, up and down, you know, everything works out well. I've got, today I've got a, a custom Ruger Single 7 in a uh, hand carved Simply Rugged holster and it's supporting that gun just fine. I've been wearing this belt as often as I wear pants, I've been wearing this belt for two or three months now. And it's really, really been great. It's, uh, it's very comfortable, as I say, I don't have to wear my suspenders when I wear this belt because I don't, don't have to worry about it ending up down around my ankles. Um, and everything everything is comfortable and everything just works the way a belt is supposed to work. It's plenty strong to support whatever gun you want to put on it. They got uh, gun belts and then they have just regular dress belts that are not really made to support an everyday carry. This is called an EDC belt. This, this belt is a tactical M5 belt. Uh, it's in gunmetal gray color. Uh, with a, uh, like a nylon, uh, uh, not nylon fabric on it that you can get, you can get leather, different colors of leather, different finishes, different grains, different colors of the nylon web style. And you can get, uh, as I said, either gun belts or just dress belts. They adjust very easily. Uh, you just push them in and pull them out. There's a little tab here that you get uh, under, underneath the bottom that you can let them out, pull them in. You can hear that ratchet engaging there. And there's plenty strong. I haven't had any problems with it. As you see, I could put quite a bit of stress on the belt. And uh, this belt has proven to be just uh, perfect. As you know, there's been nothing wrong with this belt. I've been wearing it, as I say, for two or three months now. As uh, at often, every time I've been wearing a belt, I've been wearing this. A lot of times I wear overalls, as most of y'all know. But this belt, it supports what the weight of the gun. It supports the weight of me. And it's just it's comfortable to wear, and it's perfectly adjusted every time. They're easy to easy to adjust, easy to put on, easy to take off. I highly recommend them. They are a, a belt like this. Uh, retail price is fifty nine ninety five, I believe it is. A little bit of variation in the prices depending on whether you want leather or web and different kinds of belt styles and different belt finishes. This one here, I think, is really nice looking. It's a, a muted sort of a. Uh, gun metal gray with a black buckle on it. Uh, it looks nice enough to wear as a dress up deal, but it's also a serious belt and it looks serious. I highly recommend you check these out at coreessentials.com.
Another cool thing I want to show you today is this little bitty flashlight. It's from Streamlight. It's called the MicroStream USB. It's a, about the size of a AAA battery flashlight. It's just, it's real little and it's real handy. It's my everyday carry flashlight. Uh, a lot of, a lot of folks that I know carry flashlights all the time. They're handy to have around. I carry it every day. I use it every day. Hey, there's just, it, it's, it's endless how handy it is to have a flashlight on your person at all times. And this one is little enough where you can carry it easily, but it's got a lot of light in it. It's, uh, 250 lumens and it's got a, uh, it's got a tail cap switch that cycles between modes, but uh, between 250 and 50 lumens. That's plenty of light for nearly everything you want to do. I mean, it's just a great, great light to have. It's really handy to have around. The really cool thing about these is that they're USB rechargeable. You don't have to worry about keeping batteries in them. I mean, the regular, bat regular flashlights, I'm always running out of batteries and I'm always having to buy batteries and you always don't have a battery with you when you need it. These things are rechargeable and I've been carrying this thing probably for six months at least and every day. I, and as, as I said, using it every day, a, a charge lasts probably three weeks on this thing. Uh, and that's using it some every day and I use it wide open pretty much all the time. Every now and then I'll dial it down to 50 lumens, but pretty much all the time is wide open. There's two different modes you can get, or two, two different models you can get. One, this one, uh, automatically defaults to the 250 lumen mode. You can also get one that automatically defaults to the 50 lumen mode, and you get, I think, uh, four hours of continuous run time on the 50 lumen. Uh, but uh, I've never had this thing crap out on me when I really needed it to be around. And it's, it's nothing to charge them. That comes with a little lanyard if you want it. I don't even know where mine is. I've, I didn't, I, I clip it to my, to my pocket on my overalls and that's where I keep it all the time and put down my hand and it's right there. It's, uh, it comes with that. It comes with a USB cable. This, the head on them pulls apart and you can see there is the little USB connector that uh, you charge it up on that. And there's a little light that's red when it's charging, green when it's done. And then when you get ready to start using it, you just slide the head of it back. There's an old ring seals it all up. It's a great little light. Another cool thing on the Streamlight MicroStream USB is the, the clip that I clipped to my pocket. It's a double clip. It also lets you clip it to the brim of your hat. So you can have that around looking wherever you're looking. I don't often use that feature because usually if I've got the thing with me and I need to be looking where I'm looking, I just, I just put the end of it in my mouth, which may not be the most sanitary thing in the world, so it's got the clip for your hat on there. Saves you money on batteries because uh, you're not all the time having to buy batteries putting an urn thing. And uh, they only, they're, they're not expensive. Uh, I bought this one from Amazon. It was about 30 bucks. Um, and they, you know, that's what they sell for somewhere around 30 bucks, 25 to 30 bucks. I think I gave 27 or 28 uh, on Amazon.com for mine. They're great little lights. I've, I've got a lot of Streamlight flashlights and they're all great. The folks at Streamlight are great folks. They make a good product and they make a good product at a reasonable price. This is my favorite. Uh, this is the one that's with me all the time. It's the MicroStream USB from Streamlight. Now we're checking out some magazines uh, from Amend 2. They uh, make a, a really nicely made polymer mag, polymer follower, 
very smooth loading springs in them. They're easy to load. They work really great. Uh, they're 100% reliable. Uh, we did a, a brief look at these in an earlier Tools of the Trade video. I've been using them here for the last little bit, probably the last couple of months, and they, they're working really great. I haven't had any problems related to the mags at all. They, they work great. They're American-made. They're polymer mag. They're tough mags. You know, they don't have any flex to them when you squeeze on them or beat on them or anything like that. They're just well-made, American-made, quality mags for not a whole lot of money. They make a 30-round mag. They also make 20-round mags, which will work just as well. And they make a 10-round mag. Uh, all of their AR mags are $14.99 a piece. So uh, that's that's a reasonable price for a really good magazine. You know, you, it's easy to spend twice that much on a magazine that's not any better than these magazines from a man too. They also make magazines for various models of Glock pistols. I've got uh, I've got a Glock 19 mag here and the Glock 17 mag. They are, are similarly made of polymer. They're similarly tough. They're similarly uh, really you know, work smoothly. They're, they're good mags. They are $17.99. They make them for several different models of Glock pistols. I think about five or six different Glock numbers. So uh, check them all out at amen2mags.com.